POV cameras, point of view cameras, are small cameras that you can hide many different places and they are becoming increasingly popular in live production environments. So uh, one of them would be the Marshall CV350 camera. And one of the things you'll be missing for this camera is an RCP just until now where we have finally made a device core that will work with this great POV camera. So um, a Skahoy RCP consists of two sections. We have in the upper part of the RCP a section with color settings. We usually uh, dedicate the knobs in the upper section to setting, uh, to adjusting color parameters, shutter speeds, gain, iris, um, all these things that you'll find in a camera which are not a part, well, free settings before the show starts. You want to match the, the color of the cameras. And then after the show uh, is, when the show is on, you really want to make sure that the iris settings are um, aligned on the cameras that you're using. So that's the lower section. And uh, typically that's a joystick, but we have developed a new option for the cameras or for the uh, RCPs, which is called a roller wheel. And this is essentially an optical encoder with a nice weighty, um, uh, aluminum wheel that we developed ourselves. So that option is now available and it's really cool if you want to control multiple cameras, like say you want to have a camera selector on your RCP then uh, to select camera one, two and three, let's say it was three Marshall cameras, then using this, this uh, roller wheel option is really smart because a uh, an encoder is not stuck in a position like a joystick is. So if you have a traditional RCP like the one I brought today, then you would have a little bit difficulty to change between cameras. Anyway, let's get right to it. So um, the RCPs from Skahoy are universal. So they come out of the box configured to whatever camera was uh, selected during uh, production and testing unless you have actually requested it to be delivered with a particular configuration. So this one, let's take a look at that. It's it's connected to my laptop with a USB cable and I have the Skahoy firmware application on my laptop. So what I'll do now is to press the button online configuration. So when I do that, it will uh, contact our servers and show you which different um, uh, default configurations exist. You can see that it's currently set up to an Ari and mirror camera, but I'm gonna select the Marshall CV350 from the bottom. You can also add the IP address. In this case, it's the right IP address already. So all I need to do is to go back to the firmware application and press check for updates. So check for updates will essentially contact our server, ask it to generate a new firmware for the controller, which includes support for the CV350. Now, while we are waiting for this to happen, I can explain you a little bit more about what is going on behind the scene. I could actually go and um, press this, the advanced button, and then I could add more device cores. So you will see that we have a long list of things that we can add support for. And one of them could be like an AJ Kumo router. So if I, if I did that and I went back to the controller configuration, for instance, I could go to my preview button on the RCP and then uh, just remove all of this. And then I could ask it to go to the AJA Kumo router and route a particular input to output whenever I press this button. Now I think it, the firmware is uh, being written already. So um, while I was talking, it already generated a firmware and it is now writing it. It's gonna verify the firmware before it lets us go. So um, I want to explain a little bit about what we have here. We have the RCP connected to a PoE switch. So only one cable gives it power and signals. And now we're done. So okay, maybe, maybe now take a look at the RCP. You see it's spooting up, animation, voila. Yes, there you go. You can see in the serial monitor that it's now connecting to this one. So what is that device? What is this box over here? So the thing is that the Marshall camera is a serial camera. So it has RS485 industrial serial bus uh, with Visca commands sent over. But since our RCP is networked, which is a really cool thing because everything is networked nowadays, what we do to solve that problem is to include a Ethernet to a serial converter in the mix. So this little guy has the IP address of the Marshall camera and then this white cable will connect to the camera with RS485. So now you can see from my serial monitor here that as soon as I powered up this box, 
we have a connection being established. The RCP is reading settings from the Marshall camera over into the RCP's internal memory. And this is what we are going to enjoy right now. So you can already see in this section of the RCP that we have some settings like uh, which exposure mode is chosen and so forth. But now first let's take a look at how we can adjust the most important thing with an RCP, the iris. So if I um, just move this a little bit so you can see it on my camera here, let's focus on this section where we have the um, iris joystick. And uh, first of all, we need to turn off uh, auto iris on, uh, sorry, uh, turn off uh, the exposure mode. So, well, in fact, we are going back to uh, the upper section here. You can see, yeah, so we'll do this. Uh, exposure mode is set to auto. So since it's set to auto, I need to change it to manual to, to have full control. Right, so we see iris, we see shutter speed, we see gain. Uh, I can change the shutter speed and maybe I can hit something that will give me a little less flicker on the picture. So, hey, that's awesome. We now have uh, no flicker on the picture. That's really nice. I can adjust the gain of the camera. Maybe that's not exactly what I intended, but more like, like that. I think it's okay. I think it's no matter what I do, it seems like the bananas are going bananas. <laughs> ah, uh, iris. Right, so now I'm in manual mode and I can adjust the iris, so let's just go to the section uh, with the joystick. Now, um, you see in this display it says F2.8, and uh, I think the joystick was kind of stuck in the middle, so now, now you can see it is aligned with the range of the iris, so you see it in this display, and you also see how uh, the picture is getting darker as I'm moving it to a close, all the way down there, F14, and then... Um, moving it up again here like that okay so that was the iris then of course we have um often times we have uh, master black we don't have anything like master black on the marshall camera so unfortunately the ring is not assigned to anything if i'm if i'm doing this nothing is going to happen and uh, the encoder we have right here which is typically also assigned to master black is currently showing the shutter speed so that's kind of the best thing that i could uh, come up with in terms of uh, using this for something this uh, id of course will tell us that it's camera one we can also label it marshall or whatever we want and then let's go back to this section up here so we have spent a lot of time already talking about configuration and many of the things you see here would be exactly the same as if you saw a pdc pro or pdc fly or any of our typical uh, visca controllers in action it's kind of the same thing so i basically made uh this into um, adjustment of the exposure mode as you can see and um, these two buttons down here, oh, I need to move it again for you to see, is uh, really our menu. So I can go between exposure mode and white balance, exposure mode, white balance. Up here, I have a digital zoom on off. I can enable and disable this setting. We have focus mode on off. It's, it's currently auto. Uh, auto focus, I can put it in manual mode if I want. Um, uh, AF sensitivity, and this is... Uh, a one push focus trigger over on on this one now if we go to the upper section you see the effect of me pressing the white balance button because now we don't see the exposure mode anymore but we see the white balance mode and uh, as i'm changing this one to manual you can see i'm now in control of red and blue gain uh, this should be evident on the picture so if i'm changing the the red and the blue gain here we see clear changes in how the picture looks and it's becoming increasingly horrible to look at um, I am then changing back to um, auto tracking white balance. We have here one push, so I can press and hold the encoder and uh, we should see um, that the white balance, of, well, it might have been adjusted already. Um, then of course we have outdoor mode, we have indoor mode, and uh, then finally we have auto mode right there. I think the shutter speed is kind of back, isn't it? It's flickering a little bit that annoys me well actually we put it in exposure mode shutter which means that um, it is maybe not the best um, idea if i want to go back no okay it's still flickering a little bit too bad anyway if i want to uh, enjoy the uh, exposure compensation mode i need to be in one of the auto modes so that i can turn on and off exposure compensation right there which allows me to turn off uh, sorry up and down the the general exposure of um, the picture. I can also turn backlight on and off as I want using this encoder here. Now, 
the final thing is that although this is not a pan tilt camera, it is still a zoom camera. And on the RCP, I do actually have a joystick. Guess where it is? So this one, the joystick pad, is actually a pressure sensitive, direction sensitive elastomer button. So when I press the upper side of this one, you can see I'm zooming. If I press harder, it's gonna zoom a little bit quicker if I release it. And now I'm zooming out again. And then, so I have zoom facilities right there on this button. Okay, so I am not sure if it's actually capable of focusing this close. Yes, it was, okay. So um, it's set to autofocus and there you can see I can zoom pretty quickly out again if I want to. Now, the Marshall CV350 integration with the Skahoy RCP, ladies and gentlemen, I'm very happy to bring it to you and um, I hope that you will enjoy this opportunity to integrate POV cameras from Marshall into your live productions, having a unified interface for shading all of your cameras using the Skahoy RCP.